dear students today i am going to talk to you about data sources and software tools for bibliometric studies this forms the second unit after learning this particular unit you will be able to understand various parameters used in bibliometric analysis you will also understand the availability of various bibliographic and citation databases and you will be learning about their relative merits and demerits finally you are also going to learn something about the features of a few software tools and uh, techniques in this particular unit data is the basis of bibliographic studies data collection for bibliometric study often tedious work has to be done with care and diligence data for bibliometric studies are to be invariably collected from publications journal articles monographs blogs and tweets Traditionally journals are the most valued source and they continue to be so hence many of the bibliometric studies still revolve round the journals however recent developments in web environment has provided various kinds of data which can be used as a data source for bibliometrics such as websites blogs tweets taxonomies etc but collection data for bibliometric studies directly from publications is next to impossible task for individual researchers hence one has to depend upon some good source from where the raw data could be culled out from decision about the data source goes a long way in the output of the study going by the literature on the field one could say that data sources for the bibliometrics are bibliographic database citation database journal indices library catalogs and information system institutional information system national database and so on normally results of bibliometric analysis are amenable for valid and acceptable generalization only when data collected is considerably large the method of collecting data through questionnaires and personal inspection of the original publications are thus considered to be impractical in many situations and thus are not considered as data sources for bibliometric analysis data sources for bibliometric study is mostly a databases which have been already mentioned using a multiple databases for a study is also on the rise databases developed by commercial establishments or by public or private institutions form the sources of data for bibliometric studies one may find one or more databases for every established academic discipline some of the widely used data sources for bibliometrics are explained here please note that the list is just illustrative and not comprehensive they have given in alphabetical order just to avoid bias in the presentation chemical abstract service is popularly known as cas it is a division of american chemical society its publication is called chemical abstracts it is the largest database of chemical information it covers the publications appear in the form of books journal articles patents conference proceedings and so on its coverage is from 1907 onwards site seed x an involving scientific literature digital library and search engine focuses primarily on the literature in computer and information science compendex it is the most comprehensive bibliographic database of scientific and technical engineering research it covers peer reviewed journals conference proceedings and trade publications the coverage period starts from 1870 onwards 
with 15 million records across 190 engineering disciplines. The Education Resources Information Center, ERIC, is an online digital library of education research and information. ERIC is sponsored by the Institute of Education Science, IES, of the U.S. Department of Education. ERIC provides ready access to education literature to support the use of educational research. ERIC provides unlimited access to more than 1.4 million bibliographic records of journal articles and other education-related materials with hundreds of new records added multiple times per week. Google Scholar Google Scholar is a freely available online citation database since 2004. Google Scholar, a major data source for citation analysis and scholarly information for researchers, librarians and other stakeholders mainly coming from developing countries. Indexes different forms of scholarly information, book chapters, conference proceeding, books, preprint servers and other forms other than journals. Inspec Specialized in indexing to the world's quality research literature in the fields of electronic, computer science, physics, electrical, control, production and mechanical engineering since late 1960s. It contains index and abstracts of articles selected from nearly 5,000 scientific and technical journals. Library and Information Science Abstracts, LISA LISA is an international abstracting and indexing tool designed for library professionals and other information specialists. LISA currently abstracts over 440 periodicals from more than 68 countries and in more than 20 different languages. The temporal coverage is from 1969 onwards. Metsinet It is an electronic database of reviews, extract and bibliographic information for much of the mathematical science literature. Over 1 lakh new items are added each year. Most of them classified according to mathematics subject classification. Medicinet contain over 2.8 million items and over 1.6 million direct link to original articles. Reference lists are collected and matched internally from approximately 500 journals and citation data for journals, authors, articles and review is provided. This web of citation allows users to track the history and influence of research publications in the mathematical science. PubMed, National Library of Medicine, NLM, United States has been indexing the biomedical literature since 1879 to help provide health professionals access to information necessary for research, healthcare and education. Medline contains general citation and abstracts for biomedical literature from around the world. Since 1996, free access to Medline has been available to the public online via PubMed. It comprises more than 22 million citations for biomedical literature from Medline, life science journals and online books. Scopus it is an abstract and citation database of peer-reviewed literature with smart tools that track, analyze and visualize research. Contains 49 million records. Provides 100% Medline coverage. Interoperability with Science Direct, Engineer Village and Reaxi, a unique chemistry workflow solution. Web of Knowledge Web of Knowledge is today's premier research platform for information in the sciences, social sciences, arts and humanities. It is a suite of databases containing about 25 different databases including Science Citation Index, Social Science Citation Index, Arts and Humanities Citation Index. Covers 23,000 academic and scientific journals, 23 million patents, 
1,10,000 conference proceedings, 9,000 websites. Coverage from the year 1900 to present day. We have seen in the previous sections that there are a number of databases, bibliographic and citation. The number is growing. The bibliometric researchers always confront with the questions which one is the better among their rivals. A few studies have been conducted to compare the databases. The gist of those research work are presented here as case studies. They framed four different questions for researching the databases. The results were analyzed. Only the top 10 items of each search set are examined for relevance, full text availability, full text effort, currency and overlap. The results are as follows in the form of bar graphs, which are self-explanatory. ASP outperforms GS in terms of higher relevance, more FT availability and easier access to FT, more effective advanced searching. GS outperforms ASP in terms of newer items. GS retrieves more items plus more ASP items are indexed by GS than the other way around. Covers some types of materials not readily found in library databases. Top 10 results. Similar searches in ASP and GS produce very different top 10 results. The graph show that 77% of the results were relevant when researched through metadata search in ASP. Whereas, GS could retrieve only 51% relevant results. The percentages of relevance in ASP's other modes are better than GS. The study also verified the number of clicks required for executing the search. As one can see from the graph, GS requires on an average more number of clicks when compared to all the modes of search in ASP. Within ASP, ASP slash FT records the least effort for searching as per the study. One of the important requirement of information retrieval system is the results thrown out by the system should be from the current literature. Again, the study shows that GS, as far as the results of the study goes, fails utterly. Only 35% of the records are current when compared to 61% of the current records in ASP slash MT search. Without looking into the methodology used in the study, we will just see the results which would be sufficient for our purpose here. Some of the results of the study are as follows. Google Scholar was not designed as a direct competitor to the other citation databases. Being this extra feature mainly oriented to improve the searching experience. It is really a huge database and Google is clearly intending to enlarge its coverage, not only by adding additional sources, but by collecting every type of scientific material available from the public web. Authors of the study suggest that the use of Google Scholar for bibliometric or evolution purposes should be done with great care especially regarding the items not overlapping with those present in the Scopus or Work Citation databases. However, the recent launching of new service called Google Scholar Citations and the huge update and revamping of Microsoft Academic Search is changing the level of commitment of these engines to the citation analysis, especially for personal description and evaluation purposes. The possibilities open to authors to correct errors, modify profiles and combine results. In a typically web 2.0 fashion, makes these new offerings a serious and free competence to researcher ID or Scopus Author Identifier Services. The suggestions made in the study are quite useful in the present context of this chapter. Among many, only some of them are reproduced here. The study found that the addition of Scopus citation to those of WOS could significantly alter the ranking of authors. The study also found that GS stands out in its coverage of conference proceedings as well as 
international non english language journals among others google scholar also indexes a wide variety of document types some of which may be of significant value to researchers and others the use of scopus and gs in addition to wos reveals a more comprehensive and accurate picture of relationship of lis with other fields no one source is suitable in all kinds of situations judicious selection of the sources for data collection needs to be made for more meaningful results use of multiple sources one complementing the others is the best strategy that can be adopted each databases have their own strengths and weaknesses the researcher should know them in advance to arrive at meaningful interference from the data collected from those sources it is likely that more databases may evolve in future bip excel it is a freeware for academic and non profit use it is developed by ole person of sweden its particularly lies in the fact that it can do most type of commonly done bibliometric analysis frequency distribution and co-occurrence analysis etc it allows easy interaction with other software example pagex excel spss etc site space chao mei chen created a tool to visualize and analyze trends in scientific literature called site space it is a free java application that can be downloaded by the users the input data sources for site space are web of knowledge pubmed arxiv ads and nsf award abstracts a unique feature of site space is that records from derwent world patents index can also be visualized what you are seeing on the screen is one of the analysis graphs that you could get using site space eigen factor score eigen factor is another parameter developed by jevin west and carl bergstrom at the university of washington the eigen factor score is intended to measure the importance of journal to the scientific community by considering the origin of the incoming citation and is thought to reflect how frequently an average researcher would assess content from that journal eigen factor scores an article influence scores are calculated by eigenfactor.org eigen factor scores are measures of a journal's importance it can be used in combination with h index to evaluate the work of individual scientist his site egan garfield popularly known as the father of citation analysis developed a new software tool called his site for individuals to make it easier for individuals to perform bibliometric analysis and visualization task his site is a system designed to help selectively identify the significant papers retrieved in topical searches of the web of science once a mark list of papers has been created the resulting export file is processed by his site to create tables ordered by author year or citation frequency as well as historiographs which include a small percentage of the most cited papers and their citation links there are many other software tools for bibliographic analysis only some of them are given here all these are open source tools which can be used freely pagex it is a software for analysis and visualization of huge networks with a large to very large number of verticals pagex an unusual name in english means a spider slovenian language it was started in the year 1996 and developed into one of the most popular software in the field of visualization pagex is a very useful tool in areas like organic chemistry genealogy data mining diffusion networks etc it can also be used in bibliometrics for visualize the collaboration and citation networks pagex is developed by vladimir batajal and andrej marwar 
Some producers were contributed also by Matjas Zaversnik, Publish or Paris. It is a popular software program among scholars that retrieves and analyzes academic citations. It is developed and maintained by A. W. Harzing. It is a valuable program that combats many of the problems of interpreting Google Scholar outputs and allows academics to easily check their own or others' performance. It presents academic outputs quickly and computes excellent citation statistics about each author's work, including an overall time cited score and time cited per year since publication. It uses Google Scholar to obtain the raw citation, then analyze this and present the following statistics. Total number of papers, total number of citations, average number of citations per paper, average number of citations per author, average number of papers per author, average number of citations per year, hits edge index and related parameters. Scholarometer. Scholarometer is called so as it provides service to scholars by computing citation based impact measures. It is a social tool to facilitate citation analysis and help evaluate the impact of an author's publication. It is a browser extension or plugin presently compatible with Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox. Being a platform independent tool, it turns on all systems that support Chrome and Firefox. It is easily tool to use even by a non-expert. Scholarometer helps authors and academic administrators evaluate the impact of someone's research publications, citation-based impact. Scholar Edge Index Calculator Scholar Edge Index Calculator is an add-on for Google Chrome and Firefox which enhance Google Scholar results pages by showing a number of bibliometric data computed using the data appearing on videos as input. Once installed, the add-on displays on the top of Google Scholar result pages, the corresponding H index, G index, E index and other measures of impact for the submitted query. In comparison with other tools, the calculator has many pleasant features. It is now possible to select or deselect a single paper to manually increase or decrease the number of self citation to manually increase or decrease the number of authors for a given paper and to load and save data so far you have learned about a few bibliographic databases and citation databases and also you have learned various tools and techniques used in bibliometric analysis. What you have to understand here is the choice of the software or the tools depends upon what kind of analysis that you are doing. You are also cautioned to understand the merits of each of these tools before you apply them. Any tool for that matter will have limitations. Knowing their limitations will help you in arriving at universally accepted analysis.